Redwoods are very genetically diverse, even amongst each other, and they don't all look the same. So I'm in Prairie Creek Redwood State Park, which is part of Redwood National and State Parks, and it's also part of the last remaining 4.6% of old growth forest. And I'm gonna show you two really interesting uh, tree forms. The first is curly wood. So look at the bark. See how the bark is kind of wavy, curly? The wood is like that too. Whatever the bark's doing, usually the wood is doing something similar because the bark is the wood. Seen that curly wood harvested and made into paneling in a house and it was beautiful. It was old growth curly wood. You'll hardly ever see that anymore because there's hardly any old growth left. And the old growth that is left is protected now, thank goodness. And hopefully in another 200, 300 years, we'll start to have some good old growth curly wood so your great, 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 great grandkids could panel their house with it again. So notice something trippy about the tree behind me. It's twisty wood. And if you reincarnated as a redwood tree, you'd want to reincarnate with, as a redwood tree to look like this. Because these aren't harvested quite as aggressively because the wood is also kind of twisted. So it doesn't make as good as boards. Why is it twist? It's genetic. It's not because of the earth spinning. It's not because of the wind. It's not because of the light. It's genetic. We don't know why, but it does make them a little bit stronger. So when another tree hits them, they're less likely to break and fall over. Redwood trees are hella interesting. And if you wanna learn more about how we're helping redwood forest heal themselves, go to redwoodsrising.org, redwoodsrising.org.